of room. Hospitals are packed to the brim with COVID cases and doctors say it's a growing concern. Statewide, less than 20% of hospital beds are available. Even worse, less than 1% of the state's ICU beds are available. Both of those percentages are up or down, excuse me, over the last two days. New at 10, Carice Clemens looked into the bed reductions and what it means for you. Hospitals are full, COVID cases are rising, hospitalizations are up, things don't look to be changing. We don't believe we've seen the peak of this variant. Follow the trends of the last week, um, we've seen anywhere from, it's averaged about five patients a day. Five patients a day may not sound like many, but with normal sickness still around, bed shortages are happening. White River Medical Center in Batesville has over 200 beds with 60 dedicated to COVID patients. Over 80% of COVID beds are taken. At NEA Baptist in Jonesboro, specific beds are not dedicated to COVID, but with over 70 patients with COVID, around 90% of the hospital beds are in use. Unlike what we were seeing with Delta, where a lot of patients coming in were, were needing intensive care, uh, we're seeing a lot of patients on med surge. And that's great that they're not needing uh, intensive care, but, but also it's, it's tough because that's taking uh, a majority of the rooms. Both hospitals see a trend with those admitted with COVID. Typically what we will see is anywhere from mid to upper 70s to mid 90s uh, on unvaccinated individuals. Around the 85% uh, mark have been uh, unvaccinated um, in the hospitals. Both NEA Baptist and White River Medical Center have contingency plans to care for any patient. They are monitoring them daily. Live in Jonesboro, Carice Clemens, Region 8 News.